And we're back. This is Josh Jelinski, the financial quarterback with Professor Kotlikov. So we had a cliffhanger and I started talking about my kids. So I forgot the cliffhanger again. What was it? That's about big, about uh, cryptocurrency. You know what it is? It's COVID brain. I got COVID. A little yeah. bit, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit off How are you feeling? a step. Better. How, how have you been? How long have you had? When did you have it? I had it September 2nd. I tested positive, I want to say the 6th got or 5th, got Regener on the 6th. Uh, I could not breathe. I mean, I'm fairly young. I couldn't breathe. So I felt like I was going to die. It was very bad. And I went to the hospital and they had me wait for seven hours. By the way, there's a solution to COVID Um, in, in terms of the hospitals. Basically, I knew a nurse at this particular hospital. We were on vacation and I said, uh, is it okay to go to the hospital? I said, you really need to go to the hospital. We have Regeneron. You got to get Regeneron. It, it works. It's like a wonder drug. So I went. They made me wait seven hours. And everybody, half the people had COVID and half the people were like little old ladies. I mean, you felt bad for them. I was like, I was going to say, leave. You're, you're going to get COVID. Get out of here. And I go, can no. I go to my car so I don't get this? 92 year old woman coming in for a pacemaker adjustment, COVID, they go, no, first come first serve. If you go to your car, you lose. They should have a very established, if you have COVID, you wait in your car and then you get a room and they should have a COVID floor. So I knew that this hospital had so many open beds because it was like a kind of a podunk hospital in Cape May, New Jersey. Uh, no offense if you're from Cape May, but I know you're from Canada, but it was like, a little bit backwards, but my uh, my wife went there for something that had success. They actually met a vector to Cooper in Camden, where you're from. Uh, so sure. I, I respected that if I was really a problem, they would medevac me. Where some of those hospitals, anyway, they don't they don't ship you out if you really need to. So I went there, and she's like, "Yeah, they have a whole wing of people who are open." So they what they should have done was had a COVID wing. They didn't. Yeah, they absolutely. lumped all the COVID people with the regular people and everybody's coughing. And oh boy. and so they talk about people so dying you, in hospitals. That's were why. You vaccinated? Could, what's up? Were you, were, you, were you vaccinated? Was I vaccinated? No, I wasn't. And that was another thing. If you weren't vaccinated, they wanted you to die. So I think that they made me wait seven hours because I didn't have the vaccine. And, um, you know, anyway, how's your wife? How's your wife? Thank the Lord. My wife was great. All my kids were great. They probably all got COVID, but one showed like very bad flu like symptoms. The oldest, uh, the one who tested positive, the rest all tested negative, but one of my sons who tested positive, he had zero symptoms. So it seems to like certain meaning like, um, the host I don't think it has any corollary to whether you're fat or, or all that stuff. People say, well, you're old. I think it has to do, like I had asthma as a kid and it seemed to attack what was weakest. Oh. So it felt like an asthma attack on Mach 10. And um, like oh they didn't God. even give me a nebulizer. God, okay. What's up? So you're, you're doing pretty well now though, huh? Thank God, yeah. I had a great COVID doctor. They gave me... I got prednisone. I got z pack They gave me ivermectin. They gave me, what's the other thing? Hydroxy. They gave me everything. And, wow. um, cause I, I was pretty bad and, um, I lost my voice still. I, 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 uh, they say that could be long, like effects of long COVID, but COVID is no joke. And then we, we've, uh, had a report of a, of, of a dear friend who lost their daughter 43 to COVID. So I don't think it's, you know, people got to get it through their heads. It's not age determined. And by the way, we had socially distanced even still. And I got COVID because I contact trace everyone in my office. I'm very anal about this. Um, I got COVID, I think for my sister who already had the vaccine. So uh, I think it's Delta because 
the the studies I've done. But anyway, they don't even ask you, was it dealt or not? And frankly, they don't even ask you when you go in the hospital if you were truly vaccinated or not. You could lie and tell them no or yes, and they, they're not like checking a card. Um, and then, yeah. Uh, but anyway, the Regeneron thing, if you know anybody gets COVID, you got to go before you get pneumonia or else they won't even give it to you once you get that far. But anyway, sorry on my... Yeah, that's the uh, monoclonal antibodies, right? Yeah. That's what you mean by Regeneron. That was like yeah. a life changer. But, uh, you know, in, in one sense, to be honest, I'd rather have gotten the vaccine than it had COVID really bad for two weeks. So um, what's also right. yeah. interesting... Uh, oh, go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. Sorry. What also is interesting, I think everybody needs to get the booster who got it before because I don't think the the old... I don't think the vaccine... I think the old vaccine works against alpha. I don't really think it works against Delta because because of the reports I've been hearing, like 50, 60 percent of the people who have it are vaccinated now. So it's uh, but it's uh, yeah, it's a whole. But but it, but apparently the results from uh, Israel say that if you got the vaccine, you're eight times less likely to die than if you did. But then I read some report. It was four times from uh, Penn Medicine did a study. Um, but that's the problem. We don't have a central repository of data. So we're, we're just living in the world of like fake news. You don't know whose data to trust. I, I tend to trust the Israeli data. Where do you go for data? Well, I actually agree with you. I think they probably have the, be the best uh, information and certainly They've had they've had four different waves of this. This is even though they've uh, got probably one of the highest vaccination rates in the world. Uh, so this thing is just a a real bitch. Uh, this pandemic, and I think everybody knows people have died or gotten pretty close, pretty sick, and um, uh, some we we have a, had a, a neighbor across the street. <laughs> They got the vaccine. He got the vaccine. Twelve hours later, he passed away. He had a uh, his heart stopped working. Uh, he had a pacemaker, and I think he had a reaction. We think he had a reaction to the vaccine. I'm not saying to anybody they shouldn't take the vaccine because I think, on balance, the evidence is clear. People should take the, va the vaccine, uh, but uh, it's a risky world either way. Uh, yeah, I, because you know. here's the thing. I, I understand why. You know, if you look at the, it's interesting. I take all these holistic things, you know, the quercetin, the D, the C, the zinc, none of it were a match for COVID. COVID was just ripping through my body. It was like, I was taking 12 quercetin a day. I was taking 10,000 IUs of D, 50,000. At one time I was taking the zinc. I was taking the C. I mean, COVID was stronger than all of it until I got the Regeneron and surprisingly, even though it's controversial, my doctor gave me the ivermectin and the, um, the hydroxychloroquine and the prednisone. And that along with the Regeneron, that was the thing that stopped it. But I was getting that, that lymphocyte, whatever that thing is, it like takes over your lungs. I was feeling that it was bad, <laughs> but thank God. Yeah. I, I can swear by my, my doctor was awesome. Every other doctor you'd call them, they go, COVID, they go, we don't want to see you. And I called this doctor that a friend gave me, Dr. Eck, who's apparently like this world famous COVID doctor in New Jersey. And I didn't know. And they call me like every night, how you doing? And gave me more stuff so that, hey, maybe they saved my life. So, so. Doctors are the best. Uh, doctors and nurses, these people are really just amazing. And they, they are real heroes. There's no question about it. Thank God. So this was a fun um, little COVID detour. But up next, we're going to talk yeah. more with Professor Kotlikoff about whatever his thoughts are on the economy, portfolio construction, money magic tips, and more. This is Josh Jelinski and folks. Call us 888-988-JOSH. 
The preceding program was sponsored by the Jelensky Advisory Group. Any awards, rankings, or recognition by unaffiliated third parties or publications, including Five Star Wealth Manager, Advisory of the Year finalist by Senior Market Advisor, and Top of the Million Dollar Roundtable, are in no way indicative of the advisor's future performance or any individual client's investment success. No award, ranking, or recognition should be construed as a current or past endorsement of Josh Jelinski or Wealth Quarterback LLC. Information regarding specific awards, rankings, or recognitions is available on the Wealth Quarterback website at www.jelinski.org. All investment strategies have the potential for profit or loss. Investment strategies such as asset allocation, diversification, or rebalancing do not assure or guarantee better performance and cannot eliminate the risk of investment losses. There are no guarantees that a portfolio employing these or any other strategy will outperform a portfolio that does not engage in such strategies. This broadcast should not be construed by any client or prospective client as a solicitation to affect or attempt to affect transactions and securities or the rendering of personalized investment advice. Due to various factors, including changing market conditions, the information discussed in this broadcast may no longer be reflective of current positions or recommendations. While information presented is believed to be factual and up-to-date, Josh Jelinski and Wealth Quarterback do not guarantee its accuracy, and it should not be regarded as a complete analysis of the subjects discussed. The tax and estate planning information discussed is general in nature, is provided for informational purposes only, and should not be construed as legal or tax advice. Listeners should consult an attorney or tax professional regarding their specific legal or tax situation. Advisory services offered through Wealth Quarterback, LLC.